What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday. It is another episode of Get Off My Lawn. Thank you all for tuning in, for joining us. Um, it's both myself, Al the Geek, and Captain Xavier. And again, we'll have another show where we talk about something or other or stuff or probably complain about stuff, have fun. You know what it is. Do we know what we're doing? No, but this is why we have handlers. They push us in the right direction, and this is going to be great. Also, today we have a special guest. We do have Reaper of the N7s, also known as Kai. And uh, Reaper will be on with us later. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'll be talking about stuff. And obviously, probably the main thing or big thing we'll be talking about is something hopefully many of you will be out at, which is, of course, Maryland Mayhem. But before we get to that, once again, um, if you haven't already, make sure to join the World Foam Alliance, worldfoamalliance.net. Yes, .net. Go register. Um, the whole purpose of the World Foam Alliance is to try to connect people. I know. I, I'm just, ah, maybe I need more co more coffee. But <laughs> be sure to register. I tell you, man, it's a uh, be sure to register. The whole purpose of the World Foam Alliance is to try to connect people all over the country, all over the world. So why? Because you probably want to have events. How do you have events? By making sure that we know where you are. Let us know where you are, and that way we can connect you with other people. Also, thank you for tuning into our stream on the World Foam Alliance YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, please. The more subscribers we get, the more power we get, the more money we get, which means the more things we can do for you. And don't forget to hit the like button. Smash that like button. We always forget, but please do it. It benefits in so many ways. And share it, share it, share it, share it. Even with your buddies and friends and stuff like that, you can tell them you don't have to watch it. Let me just share it. It's good. And trust me, just come and watch it. Well, you know how the deal is. But anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Well, there'll be more. But first of all, Captain Xavier is here, and he is messing with something. Cap, man, what's going on, brother? Does anybody know where this goes? <laughs> I'm doing good. I am in the process of upgrading a Moto Strike, and I'd like to meet the engineer so that I can cause him severe bodily harm. Um, ah. I'd like to Why meet that? whoever whoever came up with the idea of plastic leaf springs. I wish to remove their spleen with a rusty pair of pliers. <laughs> That's okay, because I'm a modder and I can make it better. Uh, yeah, Maryland Mayhem. It's going to be awesome. Big, long event. we got competitive. We've got HVZ. We've got a war. We've got vendors. We've got it all, man. It's it's everything you could want from a weekend-long Nerf event. And then some. Looking forward to getting my uh, jersey. Oh, jersey, Mega you XL. say? Mega XXL jersey. Yeah, there it is. I hope you don't mind. We we did the short form. Patain Xav. Patain Zav. You know, that's <laughs> that's that's fine. Um, <laughs> and most of this number. Very good. Very good. Uh if anyone oh. in the chat can figure out why my number's eighty eight, <laughs> you shall receive one one well done. And then a virtual pat on the head. Well well actually. Actually, you know what we can do, but you got to be at Maryland Mayhem. The first person to figure out why he has 88, and you got to be at Maryland Mayhem just because that way you'll actually get it. Um, he'll give you a, uh, a sticker or a pin. I will. I will give you a sticker or a button if you can figure it out. Well, here's a question, brother. Do you want me to open it, or do you want to you want me to save it in plastic? Do you want to oh, see no. it? Keep it in the plastic. I, I want to be the first one to sniff it, man. There it is. That's what I figured, so I didn't open it. So I just opened mine instead. So again, if people haven't seen it yet. And we got the hockey jerseys, because we're cool. Ah! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> well, we're, uh, we're all of, well, most of us are a little larger, so we kind of look better in hockey jerseys, as opposed to like, you know, like the ones that cyclists wear, or like soccer jerseys <laughs> and stuff like that. I feel like hockey jerseys. Kids who do all the running around on the field, yeah. That's right. It'll 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 hide my keg just a little bit better. So. <laughs> it's it'll be good. Anyway, yeah, well, I'm here. I'm upgrading a motor strike. I'm just gonna do a straight rewire because this is basically just an enormous strife, or maybe more like an enormous. Uh, 
Desolator, though it does have a geared pusher, which I did not realize. Uh, I'm going to see if I can replace the uh, cruddy leaf springs with a proper spring somehow. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. I, in the meantime, I, the I got a battery housing. I like that. That makes it a lot easier because I, mean, I might drummel it out a little bit more, but uh, it'll hold a lot. There we go. Nice. The loom has been removed. <laughs> I, on the other hand, I, I'm marking mags. I got a bunch of these new, the, the new Worker 15 round mags that I think came with a seagull, and I got a bunch of them. How so did you get a bunch? I uh, ordered from out of darts. I think it was like the I got like a dozen. You buy like a dozen, and it's like less per unit. Uh, they oh, did actually with a couple. They got a couple of bundle deals on mags, both with like eighteen round talons, the fifteen round um, uh, worker mags, the new ones, and then also straight mags. They have yeah, they have deals where if you buy I think it's like ten or a dozen, suddenly the per unit cost goes down. I have to look into that. Yeah, man. And so the other thing is, I was trying to figure out. So we started off with just yellow tape. And thought, all right, that's cool, but how we do something more? So I have these little stickers. So then I had ones where it's just a sticker. This this is all the important things that happened pre-show, as you can tell, were very important. Yeah, whatever. So we tried that, but then you know what? We settled on this. So there we go. See, I, I said thread. both, but I didn't think to put it on the tape, which just looks fantastic. So yeah, this is uh yeah. So if you're marking mags and you got little stickers of things, here's an idea: tape and uh, and a sticker. It looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Yeah, yeah, That'd it's a good idea after. to have sort of the term is barding, having some yes. sort of barding on your uh, mag so you can tell which ones are yours. And it should be something more than oh, it's a mag with a strip of tape. Well, everyone's going to put a strip of tape. Um, typically, you want at least three, and preferably in different colors, and that will make the the possible combination, combinations and permutations uh, high enough that you shouldn't have too many people running the same thing. Well, um, that'd be kind of weird to have someone else running this and going, no, no, these are mine. Yeah, um, see, that is that is an excellent option because it's got your actual <laughs> badge built into it, which makes it thoroughly distinct. <laughs> I don't know who Al Geek is, but these, these are my mags. Oh, yeah. um, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Now, the real question is, are the motors in this blaster any good? One of them seems to be making noise, and I don't like that. Oh, dude. That's not cool. No, because they're not, they're they're like 260 motors, and I don't know where I would get replacement 260 motors. Um, in the chat, anybody? Anybody for replacement motor strike motors? <laughs> Feel free to tune another in. Another motor strike. You're terribly helpful. Uh, actually, I'm going to quickly look at the, uh, see what we got people saying. All right. So Fox hey, Mando asks, yeah. are you a member of Oren Ishii is Crazy 88? Who? All right. That's a no, I guess. Uh, Neil, oh, Boomstick Mods wants a, um, wants a hockey jersey. I, I think, um, I've had already had an, enough requests, and we'll figure it out after mayhem. I think what we're going to do is open up like an order deadline. If people want a uh, Team Mega Double XL jersey, we'll be taking like uh, requests and orders from people, then put in like a lump order uh, to order out for people that want one. Um, we didn't order extra at first, even though we've been talking about this for a year. But we kind of realized with like six weeks to go, maybe we should. And at this point, actually, thank you, uh, Maritime Foam Anthony designed it. And was able to put it together and put the order in. So we didn't want to order extra. Plus, we had to pay super extra money for shipping because we're because we're dumbasses. But the other thing was that we didn't want to buy a bunch of them. And then the jersey showed up and it's like, oh, this is horrible. And now I have 40 of them and I don't know what to do with them. So it looks like, and here's the best part too. If you're at Maryland Mayhem, you get to see it in person. And you can then therefore verify that you do like it and you will give us money. So we'll buy more of them. So again, there will be probably a bulk order of jerseys if you want one. Um, sometime after Maryland Mayhem. But I'm actually going to wear my jersey. However, I got this t-shirt on just because I'm wearing it. So someone already asked me if that's straight out of Compton. It's probably reversed now anyways. Um, this shirt is not a lie. 
What? This is actually, this is actually a shirt I uh, I wore out of brain surgery, man. I did have brain surgery twenty twenty one. I did have a uh, non tumorous. Yeah, man. Can you? That's crazy. I had a non tumorous meningioma about the size of a golf ball in my head. And it's funny because when they told me, they said, yeah. I asked. They said, no, they have to send it away to test it. (laughs) Ah. You get to keep it and you could like encase it in resin and, you know. And then hang it and like. How the geek has a brain. (laughs) Or did. (laughs) Confirmed. More than just rocks in there. Oh, I could. We could have put it in resin and then I could have made a range and then put that as the center target, man. Shoot Al's meningioma. There you go. Uh, no, 88 has nothing to do with time travel. Well, I mean, it does, but that's not why I chose 88. Not in this case. What else do we got? Leave stuff in the comments. Questions, ask us questions, or somebody call in. Something. This is a call-in show. There's like a number or something that I forget every time. <laughs> Nine, seven, something. What's it? Something, something three. Yes. Good. Also, let us know in the chat who's going to be at Maryland Mayhem. Yeah, who's uh, we might have Mayhem. a uh, We might have a small surprise for you. Which we were just talking about uh, pre show. If you're going to be at, if you're going to be at Maryland Mayhem, you will actually have the opportunity to be on our lawn. Yes. There will be the opportunity to be on it and to be told to get off it. <laughs> you know what, man? And I think we should do that. Let's set up, we should set up a camera, man, where it's like, come stand on the lawn, give us your two cents, we'll give a timer, and then we'll, we'll throw you off. And at the, end of the, at the end of the weekend, we'll have a compilation of everything that, or anything that someone has said while standing on our lawn. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I like it. All right, which 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 poll is which? Oops, other way. All right, let's see. I'm just looking to see what other uh, comments we got in there. Pandora and Earth, listen, I wear my hockey jerseys to football games sometimes because they are cozy and warm. So mad respect for looking like hockey jerseys. That, well, here's the other trick, man. Um, even though the A team is supposed to be Canadian, uh, they only have three Canadians, whereas Team Mega Double XL also has three Canadians. So growing up Canadian, um, your standard winter wear, when it wasn't freezing enough, was a heavy hoodie and a hockey jersey over top of it. So for us, that is like, uh, you know, I mean, you got your parkas and your winter jackets, but if it's not, if you're not going to have uh, frostbite, it's a jersey and a hoodie. So yeah, man, absolutely. Although, dude, uh, I was checking the forecast for uh, Mayhem Weekend. Yeah. Um, low 80s. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Last year it was 80 and we were melting in the, in the, in the uh, soccer plex. Because I don't know if they have air conditioning or figured it was too early, too early to turn it on, but yeah, man, it's going to be in the 80s next week. Uh, yeah, not this if weekend, next weekend. If we have access to electricity, we should bring our own fans. Well, I think we have Boomstick Mod in the in the chat. He's an admin, so he's probably already going to be looking into that. It's going to be um, too hot if there's air or fans or something. What do we get? Foam Mando, Django Foam Flinger, Wizard Builds. I really wanted to go to Survival Fest. I, I had to cut down on my travel, and that one didn't make the list. Oh, that's right. Unless somebody wants to buy me plane tickets. Oh, yeah, yeah oh. That might be someone that wants to buy you a plane ticket. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Hello. You got a caller? Hey, that those jerseys sure. better have fighting straps in them, boys. Or you're in a world of hurt. <laughs> Who is this? 
When did you get this Hello? number? I don't even have this number. I, uh, I heard you talking smack, so I figured I'd give you a call. <laughs> well, we're talking it's, smack. <laughs> um, I, I don't understand what the problem is, Blue. We gave you a whole show last week, and now you're calling back again. Like, I think it's now being greedy. <laughs> Some people. Hey, I, just... You brought it up, so I just had to make a comment. <laughs> Right? You put them out. You put out the fighting words out there, and like I said, I didn't see any fighting straps in those jerseys. So it's got to come off. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. We weren't talking trash. We were talking about the trash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do I need to stomp on some more darts? There it is. That's right. <laughs> What's going on, brother? How are you, man? I'm pretty good. Just driving back from uh, going down to Buffalo to do my Nexus interviews. So I can cross, oh, wow. cross the border quicker. Oh, that's right. How'd those go? Uh, for me, they were like five seconds. Ah, nice. They didn't ask me a single question. Which is like, why do you have to show I up, see. man? Can't you just call in? Like, come on, man. Well, they take your they take your face scan for facial recognition and make you do your fingerprints. So that's basically it. Okay, that makes sense. Um, for those that don't know, Nexus, I think it's the Canadian version. Um, you can use it for the border when you're driving uh, across the border. It's a special line, and you get to bypass all the other mooks in line waiting, and it's a much faster process to cross into uh, into Canada instead of waiting in some horrible lo- lines at the at the border crossings. So I Do that. Get that done, even though the rest of the A team doesn't have it, so I still have to wait in the line with them. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> everyone in the car's got to have it, otherwise, forget it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I go without them now. I'll be able to cross quicker. You know what you do, especially if you cross at Niagara Falls at the Peace at the Rainbow Bridge. They got that nice walkway. Those that don't have Nexus, you <laughs> dump them, and they can walk in while you drive across and go have breakfast, and they'll just meet you at the restaurant whenever it is they cross. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, brother, are you ready for Maryland Mayhem? Yeah, all good. You ready or what? Um, sure. I think so. Do you have your defeat speech yeah. prepared? Because we definitely have ours. <laughs> there it is. Uh, losers don't get our a defeat speech. Is I didn't want to be here in the first place. <laughs> Oh, Listen, also, we were the best team to not qualify for the dispute pro tour. Okay, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> we finished third in both the qualifiers we attended. This is true. This is true. I am. Uh, I think we lost them. Uh, for those that don't didn't know, that was uh, Jeff. That was Blue from the A team. Um, the other he was actually on the show last week. Yes. He was on the show the last week as well. The Canadian team that don't have hockey jerseys. <laughs> you know what's going to happen now? Now Hixie's going to call in and yell because he's he was, uh, when I told him about jerseys, he's like, you dirty beep. <laughs> I get it. It's all good, though. They're going to have to turn in their con- cards. Well, technically, they call me as half a Canadian because I'm also an American citizen. So technically, by their nomenclature, I don't count. Um, I disagree, but clearly, um, I I can't refute their counting system because I don't understand it. So we'll, I'll just leave it at that. And it's just yeah. a uh, a difference of opinions. Well, I mean, half a Canadian, half an American has got to be worth at least a Canadian. I would argue it's probably one and a half Canadians. See, there you go. Your Canadianness I, is made stronger by your Americanness. That's right. I still think at that that brief period in time when the loonie was actually equal to the dollar, we should have just annexed Canada, or better yet, <laughs> let them invade America. <laughs> We're overdue for a barbarian invasion to come down and end our decadence. <laughs> We are invading, just very quietly and patiently. 
and you, you think but we're friendly. A few at a time. Yeah, no, we need a complete <laughs> overhaul. We need doors kicked in. Blanco houses burned down. What's going on in the chat? <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Isaac showing up late like he does all the time. Mook. Oh, I tell you. That guy. <laughs> so I did notice we got Spectre N7 in the chat. Um, what time Spectre is it over N7 there? In the chat. What time is it where he's at? Uh, I think they're eight hours ahead. Here's a better question. Who 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 dragged them out of bed? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Reaper probably did. Uh, ah. Sergeant Deplorable is currently in Saipan, which is, I believe, nine hours behind where I am, but tomorrow. Oh, wow, that's right. And I've seen some of the posts then. Have you heard from him at all? Oh, yeah. He's been sending, he sent pictures of a place. It's a uh, an abandoned shopping mall that looks like something out of an apocalypse movie. And it would be the most magnificent place to nerf. No so way. we're, we're planning cool a trip to Saipan. <laughs> of course. For a Nerf weekend. Just hop on over. It'll be a, a quick jaunt across the Pacific. Okay. What is that, 14 hours? Something like that. Um, Jake Meister, another member of the crew, is currently stationed in Hawaii with the military. So... We're slowly taking over all of the island paradises of the Pacific. Just like the Canadians are doing, quietly but efficiently. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're slowly moving west. Just going to keep going west. <laughs> all right, I think I should put this jersey on now. Instead of just letting it sit on the side. Probably. What do we got going on in the chat? <laughs> Isaac arrives specific, precisely when he means to. <laughs> what do I think of the Sweetheart Storm? What is the Sweetheart Storm? Oh, isn't that Frank? the um, isn't that the all metal blaster? Was it Frontline Foam sells it? Is it? I I don't know. Someone quote me on that. But I, I thought think it was it's the that. Shark Blaster from Destiny. I don't know what the Sweetheart Storm is. What is the Sweetheart Storm? Somebody in the Somebody. chat. Somebody ed educate me. Please and thank you. Ah. New AED. Well, well, oh, I don't yeah, think anything of it. I don't have one. Mail me one and I'll tell you what I think of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the way, there's a mix up in the post. Ma mail, it to, to, mail it to Captain Xavier, uh, care of Al the Geek. Uh, it just, it's, a, it's a routing thing. Send it through me. It'll make, it's weird. We don't know. It's the USPS. Don't ask questions. So, yeah, send it to Captain Xavier via Al the Geek and uh, we'll sort out everything else. Thanks. I'll, out of darts has it. I should go kick his door in, get some stuff, or have him bring it uh, bring it up to the next uh, private event I host. Play with it then. Well, Metal version to, uh... of Colonel Walk seventy six. There's a bunch of good oh, yeah. AEBs, and the only one I currently have is a Colonel Wasp. I want to get my hands on an inverted scales. There was one that Bu Blasters had, and I kept asking for it, but it never never got sent. Oh. Uh, Dart Sweep, Andrew has one. I haven't seen it yet, but he is absolutely yeah. loving it. But he also got the An Colonel Wasp one, too. diameter Stargate. What? Surely it'd be easier to just chisel one out of stone. You got rocks in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever reason you're up, man, I'm glad you can join us. <laughs> This is good prep because odds are we haven't sorted it out yet and we're just probably dropping this on you all now. But then we will probably have the N7s on at some time after Maryland Mayhem just for a kind of uh, debrief thoughts Yeah, we're going to get their, their after-action report since we're not running <laughs> – I'm not running a full auxiliary squad this time. I'm just going as a mook human to remind myself what it's like. Uh, so they're running as a squad. And uh, I want to want to see what their 
how it goes it goes for them. I'm sure they will outlast me. If they don't, I will be very disappointed. Well, um, I don't know. And yeah, uh, General Strife, feel free to call in and talk about your project. Absolutely. Well, are you going to be walking around with uh, with me? You know yet? For Saturday, you gonna wander around with me, or do you have figured that out yet, or what? Probably, yeah. It's because it might be me, you, and another like twenty-seven people, so we might have to hide. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that's how Maryland Mayhem usually goes. They put you in like thirty-person groups, which is why I typically oh, yeah. run a thirty-person squad, so that our whole squad <laughs> is one group. <laughs> uh, but no, no, my, my I'm, I'm planning to run with with the Mooks. We're going to be large and slow, so we'll be a big target, yeah. but it's going to be a lot of humanity. Yeah, and I'm running my cowboy loadout, so I'm not going to be particularly heavily armed. My goal is dead by noon. <laughs> you heard it now, folks. You heard it now. <clears throat> well, I think at this point, what do you think? Should we bring in Reaper? Uh, well, uh, General Strife, I believe, was going to call. I think we'll oh, do Reaper cool. after his call if he does. There it is. Timer, small window, get on the lawn before we shut the lawn off and then maybe let you on later. <laughs> you got three minutes, otherwise Reaper's on. And General Strife, forget it. <laughs> is he here? Is, is he on? Come on! No, that's the, that's the timer. He's got three minutes to call, otherwise he's got to wait. Three minutes to call, gotcha. <laughs> Dead by dawn. <laughs> there, oh! Is, it? Oh! is that you? Hello? What do you want? Hello. <laughs> Buddy, I think you called him 30 seconds. Never mind 30 minutes. What's happening? <laughs> I just want to talk about my project. Tell us. See how you guys are doing. Well, the first, well, I'm, you know the, uh, the Marshmallow Extreme Blaster? The, uh, the flip open Marshmallow pump action. I mean, not really pump action. Uh, air Blaster. Well, I'm making shells for it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I made uh, an attachment for my Mazooka that can take uh, sledge fire shells. But yeah, that would be a really easy one to make like half dart shells for. What kind of shells do you make? Oh, um, uh, it, they're just easy slip in. You can change it back to shoot marshmallows at any time. So far, I have Hyper X6. Half dart times two, which doubles as a full length, of course. Uh, a three shot uh, elite darts, which also is a six shot half dart. Nice. Mega. Big yep. bad bow arrows. Oh. I got r rival three shot rival. Ultra. And I think that's it. I say if you if you just use a section of old Nerf barrel, it perfectly fits. Um, big bad bow arrows and ultra. And then you wouldn't Very have the, cool. the the risk of you know having a long post that's three D printed, which is likely to break. Very cool. I think I have one of those. Somebody sent me one that had shells. It's in a bin somewhere. <laughs> but it didn't have that much variety. Of course, I think when they sent it, half those ammo types didn't exist. They've come out with a lot of new ammo types over the years. So have you tested them? Are they working well, or is this still in the prototype phase? Still in the prototype. I don't have a 3D printer, so I'm trying to... Uh, I don't know what to do for test prints, but uh, apparently my uh, one of my family members' teachers has a, a 3D printer, so I want to see if I can, you know, buy them or something. I don't know. Here's the other option. Yeah. If you're part of the World Foam Alliance uh, Discord server, you can always put it out there in the general chat or under the printer function, and uh, I wouldn't doubt that someone in the community would offer to try to test print it for you. Yeah, I mean, I'd be willing uh, to just well, if I have the blaster. We got another just call. guy what? actually offered. Good lord, we got people calling in. All right, 
Gotcha, if someone up. can help, uh, if someone can help General Strife with that, man, that'd be great. Um, yeah, print yeah. his stuff. All right, those marshmallow blasters are ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> yeah, if, if no one else is calling in later, feel free to call back. All yes. right, all right, we got another caller. Is this the person that wanted to am talk I, am I to on? Kai, or am is it someone else? Who are you? Yes, I wanted to talk to Kai. Well, then you're oh, just gonna have I'm to wait. I'm also like ten seconds behind on the stream. Good lord. Let's go ah. Just, just stay put. Sweet. Yeah, yes. bring him in. Bring in Kai. Aha! You're Hello. being stalked. Somebody Kai, are you there? You. Oh, Hi, yeah, I, I know. know who you are, and you know who I am. <laughs> I so, do like, know who you are. One time, I drove five. Shut up and let me tell my story. So, like, this one time, I drove 500 miles <laughs> well, across the country, the and I saw this little sauce package from this weird gas station called Wawa, and then I started handing them out to people on this college campus in Baltimore. I ran into this guy who said his name was, like, Luke Goodman or something, says he runs the <laughs> largest nerf hobby shop in the country. I said, hey, oh, man, that's really cool. So I handed him some packets of sweet relish as a token of my appreciation, and he went, uh, hell yeah, man, packeted foods. I used to eat those all the time in college. And then we just sat there eating ketchup packets for the rest of the day, and it was fully sick. But then I realized I just drove 500 miles across the country, and I don't remember why I did it. I, I'm just standing here with, like, fistfuls of ketchup and sweet relish. I haven't eaten real food in, like, three days, and I don't know where I am. Can, can I borrow $10, please? <laughs> of all the stories you could have told, I am both not surprised you picked that one and absolutely happy that you did. <laughs> Hey, Luke would probably give you 10 bucks if you asked. That man is despicably good. Never met anyone so well-named in my life. Uh, air, that is perfect air. Just disgusting. Yes, that is Carmile Designs or Taffy on Discords and stuff. Uh, I, I know I go to Kane, which is another club that Taffy goes to a lot. So I've known him for a bit since before the skewer came out. So that was Ooh. a fun moment. Ah. I got a skewer. It's right there. Very fun blaster. Of course you do. All right, now that we got that out of the way, Kai, welcome to the show. Tell us who you are. Hello, I'm Reaper and Seven, uh, otherwise known as Kai. I've gone by a couple of other names in the nerf communities. Those don't matter. These are what I go by now. Uh, I works. nerf with Team N7. I'm located in the Midwest. I go to like Z13, Naptown Nerf, the Boiler League of Tag, which is Produce Club, and Kane every once in a while. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else really. Not nerf related. <laughs> That's still a pretty good resume. Thanks for thanks for uh, being on with us. That's fantastic. Glad to have you. Um, well, I think I'm in a senior moment. I'm not even a senior yet. That's weird. <laughs> so are, are you going to be? You're, you're going to be at Mayhem, right? Yes, you're Wild getting seventy five percent of Team N Seven. Uh, one of our members is recovering from a concussion, so it's Ooh. yeah. They're they're staying home for good reason, so probably best. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have myself, Spectre, and Seven, who is was in the chat, might not be anymore because it's one a.m. there, uh, and <laughs> Angel and Seven, and we have a couple of other people we've picked up along the way too. Cool, cool. I look Very forward nice. to the after after the after report on hearing the after after. Nope, I'm done. Can't talk. I look forward to hearing the after report on how that goes. I'm sure there will be many. It's it's going to be a good time. We're definitely looking forward to it. Oh, Spectre is still here. Uh, I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. I'm not looking forward to the fact that it's going to be 80 degrees again. Thank you for that, Al. Oh, my God. I, I know. I was like, all right, because... We had a we had a ridiculously warm. Now I'm about an hour outside of uh, where everything happens, but still close enough where it's not that much variation. And we had a warm winter, and then March and April have been kind of on the cool side. And even like leading up to now, where we've been below um, average, and sure enough, now it's like 70 degrees for a week. And no, no, let's go right above average because here we are. Welcome to um, yes, kind of the south, not really the south, Maryland north. Anyways, yes. What man? What the hell? Like, come on! But then again, maybe it's maybe we're, it's making us earn it. You're gonna sweat it out some. I don't know. <laughs> but global warming is a hoax. Remember that. Yes, 
I did see a fun thing, which is if why do people not believe the scientists about global warming and climate change, but they will believe that, ah, yes, there will be an eclipse at this time on this date exactly, and the next one won't be for 20 years. Because they want to. Yeah. Um, I did my research. I saw a YouTube video, okay? Just yeah. to be clear. YouTube videos are great. I do hear you can learn some really awesome things about a lot of weird topics and sometimes talk to some weird people on the internet, too. Allegedly, oh, allegedly. This stuff is even true. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but a lot of it well, is for, lies. I tell you. Well, for those that are watching along at home, um, if you were able to tune in at all during our charity live stream, uh, Kai was on actually with uh, two others of the N N7s and you guys had, wait, was it late at night or early in the morning or yes to both of those? What was it like three or four in the morning? When did you guys start? So they are five hours ahead of me. So it was, I yeah. want to say like something, something nice, like nine or eight in the morning for them, but it was like three or four in the morning for me, <laughs> but it it was well worth it. And it, it was basically supervised time with the team which I'll, i will happily take they're fun people <laughs> i remember i was able to wake up early enough and i caught you uh, like the last hour and a half of uh of your show and you all were just fantastic it was so much fun it was very informative and it was just like when you joined in you felt like you were part of the conversation like everyone's hanging out and it's the 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 chemistry and friendship you guys all have is very evident so Seeing you all on the field when you're all decked out and geared out and in squad is very scary. Yet, yeah, yeah, strip that all away. They're not scary people. Trust me. Uh, Chalo and Captain Xavier and I are scary. Well, we won't talk about that now. But anyways, yeah, they're not scary people. So <laughs> scary, we're hairy. We keep getting that wrong. <laughs> yeah, we, we might look like a bunch of scary space marines in all of our armor and our red tat gear and all of our big scoped out blasters. But yeah, we, we try to just keep it light and fun. It's the whole point of it. We're playing with kids' toys. <laughs> Very big, fancy, crazy looking kids' toys. But yeah, I guess that's true. Yes, that is true. I guess since we're talking about that event, so then, um, and well, obviously we're going to be doing the charity event probably again this year. So guess what? Mark your calendars. You all will probably be back on again for that. But then also we'll probably have you on different things before that. Um, like we said, <laughs> we're already advertising. We haven't even said it yet or even got approval from all of you. But by the way, join us uh, soon in the future where we're going to have N7 on for a full debrief because apparently we just told them that's happening instead of asking. So... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody will have any complaints other than the fact that it's going to be a late night for them. <laughs> we'll give as them enough is, heads up so people get naps. Oh, yeah. As is, I'm in my pajamas right now because by the time the stream ends, I'm going to be rolling over into bed because I got work at in the morning. So. <laughs> See, for me, it's only 6 o'clock. Yeah, that must be nice, but I, but I live in the future. Yeah. And you didn't tell us about all the horrible things that were going to happen, you monster. I'm so sorry. If I had to experience them, you had to experience them too. <laughs> that is just a horrible, horrible philosophy that I wholeheartedly agree with. It's called sharing. <laughs> sharing is caring. That's what I was always told. I think that's a good policy. Seriously. Come on, man. I tell you. So, then, so Al, Kai, are you also playing the HVZ? I am, yes. So, and because of certain influences, and I guess because, um, well, I didn't want him to look foolish by himself. Uh, someone else may have bought a, a cowboy hard hat, and someone else may have also <laughs> bought a, a a cowboy shirt. I, I'm happy, because you know what it is when you order from Amazon, and it's kind of like, especially when you are not svelte, um, and you sit there and say, this this is not doing me well for my ego. Where in normal America land and Canada, it's double XL. Why do I go to order a seven X and it doesn't fit over my arm? Like this is like this is this results in therapy, man. Like come on, you people are killing me. It's like they do it on purpose. Ha ha, stupid American, make you feel fat. Like I, I don't get it. But <laughs> if it's any consolation. When you are svelte, you do still have to have the right proportions. Otherwise, you wind up like me, and you're a 32 inseam, and you can't find anything. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, from your perspective, what do you mean I need an XL? Like, when when does that happen in my life? <laughs> <laughs> but I have a cowboy shirt and it fits and I washed it and it shrunk just a little bit, but it still fits. And then um my wife, God love her, she is very supportive of this hobby because as soon as I told her it was cowboy theme, two days later I do have an Al the Geek belt buckle, like Texas big buckle uh belt. It, it is awesome. I am very envious. Very nice. Very nice. I, I don't I know got... how much it costs, but I can't get in trouble because she bought it. There you go. I got a hey, cowboy man. hat and one of those silly fringe vests, and that's what I'm going with. Nice. Apparently, the uh, the hard hat cowboy hat, there's going to be more than a few of them out there. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Train. So, right. I have already told, well, told, agreed with, bullied, peer pressured. Yes, two other Team Mega Double XLs into white ones. Uh, they're. <laughs> Anthony and Matt, because it actually fits their cowboy theme. And then I also do believe that some of the A team has also bought the same cowboy hats. So now apparently we've, 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 it's a society, an underground thing. If you know, you know. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> it's going to be a bunch of folks in plastic hard hat cowboy hats just baking. <laughs> We're going to be OSHA Maryland friendly. <laughs> Well, I want to be dead by noon. <laughs> so you can... I wish you luck with that, because so far every event I've been to that you've been to, that it's like, I'm going to be dead by midnight. I'm going to be dead by noon. You last far beyond that. Yeah, but this time I didn't bring a squad of 30 semi-professional HVZers. <laughs> it's just <laughs> me. It might actually happen. <laughs> so... Odds are we're going to be a group of myself, uh, Maritime Foam, um, Nerf Dog. We are not experienced uh, HVZers, yet somehow still make it to the end anyways. So, sorry, dude. Um. <laughs> nope, no guarantee. I, I may just have to be foolish and challenge some zombie to a duel at high noon and then conveniently fail to load my blasters. <laughs> maybe i can organize a coup where suddenly i give the word and then while he's not paying attention we all just run in opposite directions and leave him standing there by himself <laughs> i've worked yet every time i try to go get myself killed you all save me <laughs> nobody's ever tried to do that <laughs> oh. oh i feel like there's a story there tell us reaper I don't know there's that there's a, a, I, I don't know that there's so much a story so much as there is like I run with the ox a lot, which does mean a lot of times my job is not explicitly to keep Captain alive, but it kind of comes with the territory. Is he doing something foolish? <laughs> Why does he keep leading from the front? If you can't lead from behind. <laughs> I adhere to the Civil War general strategy of leadership. There's a reason a lot of them died in that war. <laughs> <laughs> Do we oh, get the one on the horse with the really fancy hat. Let's shoot him first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. In the meantime, has anyone also uh, successfully guessed why you're number 88? So, again, uh, those that joined late... Uh, Captain Xavier, sorry, sorry, we, we got the name wrong. Patain Zav. Patain Zav. Zav is allegedly, we, we're, we're thinking this is the number 88, a condensed version of it. Um, do you know why he has picked the number 88? If you get it right, and you got to be at Maryland Mayhem, he's not mailing it to you. Um, he will give you a sticker or a button, depending on how he feels. My guess is going to be it's because it looks like two big old XL, Mega XL darts just on the back of the jersey. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I get a point for effort? Yes. Yay. That you can redeem for one smirk. <laughs> there is a... <laughs> 
there is a reason he picked 88 and it's pretty cool. So yeah, again, if you can guess what actually at this point, I don't know if I was going to guess if you, if you actually get it right, you're going to get a, uh, a sticker and a button from him. Oh. So far, they're, they're, they're not even close. And look at me hey, giving away his merch hey, without asking. Don't be, don't be doling out my merch, man. <laughs> I'd have so much merch, so much more merch if you'd told me about Sticker Mule sooner. But no, you were holding out on me. I was holding out on you. I didn't want, you know what? Because no, no, because no, no. <laughs> All right, here, here's a guess. Um, maybe you should read it. I don't want to say it out loud. His waist size in centimeters, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he's been well, how long have you been uh, since i think rag 2018 so it may actually predate the mega xl dart there it is and has your waist size sure always stayed my the same? number when I was on the Einherr Yard team hmm. at Rag 28, 2018. We get so a mine, hint. I, oh yeah, he's got a hint. If you go through the chat, if you if you put all the guesses together, they're almost there. <laughs> oh really? Kind of. No, that was me. Let's see. Well, Sorry, we've had people guess DeLorean speed, the 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 waist size one. What else did somebody guess? I said Mega XL darts. It wasn't so much a guess as a, a pair of very similar comments. Oh, really? How many tags I got at Rag? I got way more than 88 tags at Rag 2018. We held 10 waves of (laughs) board. No, it's not your height. Last Rag, I got a grand total of five tags. (laughs) Because I was running a single shot pistol the entire game. I am still sad I have not gone to a Rag yet. They're they're a good one. I don't know that I will be at RAG this year, though. No. My (laughs) current events this year is Maryland Mayhem, Survival Fest, maybe I still got to get the time off work, and then ideally some of the Pennsylvania HVZs, but that's because those aren't too far from me. I will for sure be at Mall Madness, or um, Maryland and Mall Madness are the two that I've got currently... For sure. When is Survival Fest? Because we should be pushing to that one. It is the last week of May. So the 31st, 1st, and 2nd. If I've got that right off my head. If I don't, I think Pandora might still be in the chat. I think that is correct. So again, Survival Fest, you haven't signed up. Um, It is happening that weekend. I still have... I want to go. I am still on the fence. I just got to figure out because um, I'm going to be doing a lot of conventions this year and I kind of got to figure out, I should be, I should actually be at my house for some of it. So, but again, uh, survival fest, I went last year and it was so much fun. If you get the opportunity to go, um, if you can go to all the events, go, but if you can't make it to mayhem or end war or rag, trust me, survival fest is not a consolation price where it's like, well, I'll just go to survival fest. Trust me. It's still a big win as well. So that's the good news about it. If you can't, obviously we can't all make it to all the events, but if if that's the only one you can you can make it to, trust me, you will not be disappointed. Because Survival Fest is different than Maryland because it's just HVZ, isn't it? They don't have a tournament and a war. That is correct. It is on. Yeah, um, why I really wanted to go, but I just couldn't yet. Unless, unless somebody out there wants to pay for my plane ticket, uh, it's not an option. Uh, GoFundMe now, St. Captain Xavier Survival Fest. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> somebody, somebody start up a collection. Tell you what, we'll start a pool. 
If at Maryland Mayhem, you have failed to tag Captain Xavier, you owe us money for his plane ticket. And it's not our <laughs> fault. It's your own fault for failing. And this is a way that you can find redemption in your own failure. So again, what we're asking for here is not money. What we are presenting to you is an opportunity. The opportunity to try and still succeed. So again, <laughs> if, if, if you want to partake in this opportunity, if you can't tag Captain Xavier, don't worry. He will take money and travel tribute and send him to Survival Fest, which if you're going to, gives you a second chance at tagging. You see how this works? This sells itself. People will send money. Send Captain Xavier two chances to make him a zombie. Let's see if he can do it. <laughs> there you go. Maybe I should be in sales. <laughs> oh, a caller! It's a general strife guy calling back like we told him to. <laughs> it might be. Hello, it's Foam Mando. Not, it's Foam not General Mando. Strike. It's actually Foam Mando. Foam Your, Mando, what's uh, shaking, brother? sewing friend. <laughs> not oh, much. How are you guys great. doing? And, and uh, how are you folks doing, I should say, all three of you? I'm doing great. I, need to, I still need to get back to you on exactly what I want, tactical-wise. I actually know now. Because I, I filmed well, a loadout actually, video today. I'm like, this, this thing is what I want. Well, I wanted your opinion on something, and all of your opinions, but specifically yours, Captain. Uh, I'm wondering what you think of an Alaskan chest holster. A what now? An Alaskan chest holster. And if you don't know what they are, I'd suggest you look it up. Ooh. I would have to look it up. I have no idea what that is. It's kind of like a that? bandolier, uh, but then it'll mount a pistol uh, kind of in a, in a sideways or angled position so that you can grab it. It's something you'd wear maybe under a jacket so that you could unzip and quick draw that way. Um, but I've been talking to other members of the community, particularly Walcom S7 is interested in one because he's got a knockoff called an invert. And uh, we've been talking about making him one in his colors. That would be yes, cool. Yes, please, I want one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I want all the tactical gear in all the land. Ideally, in my color. Well, I guess we'll add it to the list, Captain. It's so hard to get anything but black or camo. Which, did you see and that's that? that's kind of why I started this up. What? Oh, What'd you say, Kai? Go ahead. I would say, I did see somewhere someone starting a Kickstarter to make more colorful tactical gear. That is I don't know if correct. it's related. I, it isn't. It is completely unrelated, and I, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it yet, so I'm not going to. Um, but if the Kickstarter has been announced, then I probably can. I should probably actually check that Discord more than once a month. So let's let's put it this way. Oh. Go ahead and do some searching, people, and let us know what you find. Yeah. Uh, I'm I not aware of any find... Kickstarter, but if anyone's interested in CAC here, they can reach out. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I did find a source, I think on AliExpress, where it was all white CAC gear which would be really easy to dye other colors. Unfortunately, it was expensive. Which is not the point of AliExpress. I was very disappointed. <laughs> There's a reason I'm holding this up. That I... is pretty. Yeah. Oh, Mando, why am I holding this up? I can't see what you're holding because I'm on my phone talking. Sorry, buddy. Oh. He was holding up an outlaw. Ah. <laughs> it may be a blue one. Oh, is it a <laughs> is it a blue outlaw? Oh, I know which outlaw that is. I'm very very excited for that one. <laughs> Good news is our lives are saved after, so you can blue. go back and watch it. There it is, exactly. That is his outlaw, by the way. So oh, yeah. as, as soon as I hang up, I'll I'll catch up. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, have you guys? Uh, All right, have you well, guys Google uh, this if, you, if you don't know what the Alaskan chest holster is, just back to me. Yeah, I will. I, uh, I will ping you, and we will chat. It'll be lovely. Yeah, because this is cool. Have you guys? Did you Google it. There I googled it. it. Yeah, it like holds it here, which is. I wear a blaster usually on my front if I'm wearing a full heavy loadout, anyways. So that's pretty interesting. It is isn't very it? cool. Um, so, Kai, will you be partaking in the tournament at Mayhem? 
No, no. My my hats off to anybody who can do competitive. I do not have the fortitude of will nor the functioning knees to be able to do it. So uh, I would much rather save my strength for the HVZ and the PVP afterwards. Uh, I do have my boyfriend, Jack Virus. Uh, he will be competing. He's on Team Midnight. Uh, and then Archer is running with our HVZ group and is on Magic Smoke, I want to say. So, got a couple people to root for, but no, I... I... A caller. Call? The nerve of some people calling into a call-in show. Calling from Scotland. Who... Who could possibly be calling us from Scotland? Couldn't imagine. Uh Uh-oh. Or silently stalking us from Scotland. We (laughs) we do have color. We do have color ID. We know it's you. You can pretend. I I think he's just, you know what it is? He didn't realize we know it was him. He was probably going to mask his voice. That would be an impressive and intriguing feat to, to hear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, we didn't really tell you to. It was just sort of a, if you had more you wanted to say, you're welcome to call back. It wasn't really an order, but you're definitely welcome to if you've got it's more It's a call-in show. It is. <gasps> Go! Long live the king! Hello. 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 Call. Hello. There we Hello. go. How did you get this number? Uh, my boyfriend gave it to me. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> How is I'm everyone? Sorry, I'm supposed to. It is uh, coming, well, coming up on two a.m. in the morning. I got the remains of a. Moto strike all over my workbench. It needs to get painted before I refinish the rewire. And it turns out I'm out of XD60 connectors. What? How am I supposed to operate under these conditions? Oh no! Do you have an XD30? Uh, that is an excellent question. No, no, you don't want to use an XT30 for a moto strike because the current draw on the motors will be will be higher than the 30 can handle. Oh, well, that's why you don't I, take my advice. Anyway. Yeah, Anyway, I, I called mostly to, to remind Al that he, ha- that he has a blaster for me, given as he's been showing off one for Fomando. <laughs> you you totally my remember that, don't you, my guy? Oh, of course I did. I, I got it. As soon as that happened, it went in a special box off to the side so that it doesn't get lost, packed away. <laughs> or to, uh, to quote one Captain Xavier, it's in a bin somewhere. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Oh, uh, I am seriously so considering running it for the HVZ. Uh, I'm bringing <laughs> orange tape specially. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then we got that one out. Actually, we got that one. Just, yeah. uh... I asked the local HVZ if I could run my Alva Geek stuff, and they said no. They didn't like the pointy bits, but. <laughs> Ooh. That's fair. Yeah. You know what that is? <laughs> That's envy because they don't have Al the Geek the stuff to run. So that's like if we can't, you can't either. Yep. That's yep. Almost certainly the case. I'm sure. Sure. I'm actually <laughs> doing an arms deal at this Maryland Mayhem as well. It turns out. Oh. Tell us what's the arms deal? Well, somebody reached out to me from Canada, wondering if I could, if I had any spare Busby monorails lying around. That's an interesting one. And I didn't. Why would anyone want a Busby monorail? I'm sure I don't know. Um, I don't ask those kinds of questions. Uh, lest people start asking questions about my proclivities. But I didn't have any. <laughs> but I happened fair. to be what? out and about. They asked on the weekend when I was up at the Waffle event. And so on my way home, I hit a bunch of Dollar Generals because Dollar General was carrying the green monorails for a while. And I managed to come up with two blue ones and a green one. Ooh, uh, and they good said they wanted all of them. And uh, somebody from their local area is actually on the A-team and is going to be at Maryland. So I'm just going to bring them with me rather than mailing them. 
um, because I'm going to have to have the capacity anyway, because apparently somebody is gifting me a Crimson Vulcan at Maryland Ooh. Mayhem. And so I'm going to have to have the way to bring it home. And so I might as well just take uh, it's about the size of three monorails in box. So yeah. There you go. Nerf or mail is the best way to set Everyone's things. Everyone's happy. Yeah. Because uh, I think the Vulcan is the only Crimson Blaster I don't have. Not for long. I think, yeah, I had a long shot on one side. I think I still have a crimson long shot. I hope I still have a crimson long shot. I know I've got crimson recons coming out of my ears. I mean, I gave one of those away at the last Maryland Mayhem. I'm, I'm going to guess a it's crimson in a bit recon, somewhere. you say? What? Uh -oh. Might be about to get rid of another crimson recon. I mean, it's not like it's not like you don't know anybody who operates a team of space marines with a red and black color scheme or anything. It was weird. I couldn't figure out why they wanted one. But they did. <laughs> so I gave it to them because I didn't need three of them. One of them's got a metal internal tube. Ooh. Old, uh, orange mod works metal kit. That thing weighs a ton. Yeah. Becker, when are you getting in then for mayhem? Hello? I think you've been drowned out by Sorry, noises. was that a question aimed at me? Yes. Was that question aimed at me? Yes. Yes. Just wondering when you're going to get in. Will you be actually well, getting time for the tournament? So we, we arrive on th Thursday morning. We will be spending Thursday accl acclimating. Uh, I'm not participating in the tournament. I'm not participating in the tournament this year, but I will be there to support um, my friends who are going to be present. Um, I'm kind of very conflicted because I've got I've got three different friends playing on three different teams. So I, I'm just going to have to basically be there and have like three different sets of banners and wave them up whenever anyone you know, depending on who's playing. <laughs> but good lord I love that I shall leave you guys to it take care get off the lawn oh, we got more callers See awesome you. thanks for calling in yay who do we got who's calling hello apparently we're just swamped with callers now <laughs> hello 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 you? What do you mean? can you hear me yes oh. <laughs> uh, this is Willis, Willis00788, I'm a friend of Kai on Discord. Um, Hello! But yeah, you guys are mentioning um, the monorails. Do you guys follow Mongoose Jake at all? I've heard of him. Because he just had I'm a ready. video. Yeah, he just had a video of uh, some pretty big uh, Busby news. They're working on their distribution to uh, distribute better, and they're bringing, like, 15 to 20 products to Amazon within the next month. One of them is the monorail. Ooh, that's exciting. Let me tell them to re-release the so, signal. Yes, they, they have been told that. Uh, Jerry's still out on whether or not that will be included or not. So, yeah, more Busby products for everyone. Better ease of access. Yeah. But yeah, I also just wanted to support my buddy Kai. So. Thank you. Are you going to be at Maryland Mayhem? Uh, I don't know. Uh, finances are kind of right now, so. I got you. If I can make that it work, happens. I will. Heck yeah. Better figure it out. You got so. a week. <laughs> probably, probably not. not. I'll probably put in for my time off. Oh dear. <laughs> If not, there will definitely yeah, be more to see you. <laughs> oh, which reminds yeah. me. So at the tournament on the bench, if you all notice Captain Xavier working remotely on his laptop, please don't interfere just so he doesn't have to take time off. Just uh, just talk to him after. So again, if he's working hey. remotely on the bench. I actually did have to work remotely in the middle of the stalking dead at uh, RAG last year. <laughs> I had to bring my laptop connect through my phone and do a deployment. 
<laughs> yeah, if you see him with a headset, Taka got it. Yeah, just leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, just tag me and, and I'll, I'll acknowledge it. Just in the middle of the field, horde all around me, just whipping out the laptop. Yeah. Zombies just coming up to tag me and then just like, <laughs> like okay, just wandering off. There you and go. Just there. No! <laughs> Kill me! Put me out of my misery! <laughs> Please, so, please. No, I want to die. Morning. If if Captain Xavier on Thursday suddenly pulls out, it puts out a call for about four auxiliary members. Do not answer because you'll be responsible for carrying his laptop and making sure he has a connection <laughs> so he can work. Hey, I'll be in the middle of the field. And all right, you scum, form a circle and protect me while I do this deployment real quick. All right, you can let me die now. <laughs> <laughs> or like he was saying earlier, he's going to try and get himself killed, but then the ox is just going to come in and intervene. Every oh, yeah. time a zombie gets close, some ox snipes him from the next field. And we're like, hey! Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like that That's... scene from uh, The Rocks Hercules, the guy <laughs> wanting, the, wanting the arrows to hit him and just they all miss. Or when the rock snipes the spear out of the air. That was my moment! <laughs> nice. All right, All right, next I'm gonna hop off. Hopefully, we'll see you. See ya. I'll give you I don't think we have ever had this many callers. <laughs> I think we did like week two. Was that loud <laughs> beep to mean that I'm on? Is that what that is? Probably. No, you, you, you've beep. been. What do you want? The beep is because you've been edited. <laughs> we already know you're horrible. That's why we're beeping you already from the beginning. So now, <laughs> make, make up for it. Who is this? <laughs> Uh, this Hi. is KT of Family Foam Sword and the Foam News Collective. What's going on, y'all? Oh, keep beeping. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Riddle known KT, fact. Uh, uh, Kai, absolutely foul mouth. Kai, I'm looking forward what? to meeting you. I don't think we've met yet, um, but I'll be oh, at no. Mayhem this year, and I'm excited to hang out with y'all. Excellent. I love meeting new um, nerfers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so I wanted to to self-promote a tiny bit about a project that I'm working on that I'm going to have at Mayhem, which is why I wanted to bring it up. Um, sure. I've been on this, on this kick about uh, documentation and preservation. And um, I realized that I have a handful of really cool and I think sort of like semi-important hobby pieces. And I was like, how can I make sure people can actually see these and experience them rather than just like sitting in a box and being collected and forgotten about? Um, and so I'm, I'm trying out this idea of having sort of a little traveling hobby museum and bringing them to events and letting people try them out. Like on Sunday at the, um, at the I forget what they're calling it. Boomstick, what 11th are you calling hour. it? You told me on the podcast. 11th, you're hour. Calling it. 11th hour. No, well, before 11th hour, uh, before 11th hour with the tables, because um, oh, anyway, whatever. The, the 11th hour day. I just forget what the show is called. Boomstick's going to put in the chat in a second, I'm sure. Um, there it is. But uh, it's stuff like, it's stuff like I have um, American Foams. Remember that thing with the trilogy where there's the magazine that puts shells into it? Um, and it was like Joel King made one out of Lego yes, and then yes. Domachevsky designed the 3D printed one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I have I American Foams, one of that, which was yeah, yeah, which was the American Foams one. He sold it in his auction, and um, Axel Sorax bought it at BlasterCon. Thank you, Boomstick. Um, and Axel Sorax sent it to me, and I was like, I want people to see this and experience it, but if I take it on the field, it's going to get destroyed in the first 10 minutes. But I can bring it to a table at BlasterCon and let people try it in sort of a controlled situation um, and hopefully yeah. have stuff like that survive. Um, I feel like like blasters are meant to be played with, but I also feel like if things like this can inspire people to design new things and get excited about the hobby, maybe it's worth doing something like that. What, what do you think about, about an idea like that? Is that, is that something that's, that might be worth yes, <laughs> going on yes. with? Cause I think it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I that's definitely a beautiful think, idea. Yeah, because like my, I've got the, you know, the vintage collection, but that's all of the official stuff. You're talking about hobbyist right. vintage stuff. The, the big things like, if you could get your hands yeah. on the original rainbow pistol or, you know, things like ire or, or tear or um, uh, what, what are Walcom's the paradigm shift or the deleter or, you know, those iconic mm -hmm. 
hobby builds like a, an early Caliburn to, to, to really show how, you know, this is yeah. where everything just went. That's exactly the kind him. of stuff I'm, I'm yeah. hoping to kind of One. track down, but I, I want to do a couple test runs before I just start hoarding rare, <laughs> rare blasters, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, one way, but, obviously, is what you're saying is to actually bring them because actually getting to look at them and put your hands on them is way, way cooler. But an alternative would be mm-hmm. putting together some kind of a, a hobby build wiki. Uh, I want to do that, wiki. too. I absolutely yeah. want to do that, too. I need to get my photography business together <laughs> and then, there like, really document these things. because I, I definitely want to do that as well. Um, but uh, you could also but put yeah. together a YouTube yeah, channel I, and have, if, if possible, have the designers talk about their early stuff and the development process and, yeah. and you know. Yeah, totally. Um, I'm I'm trying to I'm tr- I'm trying to capture some like prototypes and stuff uh, of things that are relatively new to sort of be going forward. And I have discovered uh, I've watched way too many uh, like talks by museum preservation specialists. And I have discovered that museums currently have absolutely no clue how to long-term preserve 3D printed objects. So we are breaking into new territory here. (laughs) Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They have no clue. So I'll be doing my best to figure out how to do that. I have, I have, I have a couple suggestions. Yeah. So the first thing, and this one, I'm not kidding about, you know, I joke about people donating money. But like when you actually set this up at tables and booths, make sure to actually have a box, a jar or a QR code just because this is more of a museum. And because if it's full on, you're going to start bringing these for uh, people to actually experience, make it where people can actually give you donations to help uh, fund the search, the uh, acquisition and also the preservation of certain things like this. Um, You're not going to make a ton of it, but at the same time, I'm sure if if you're gonna t- if you're gonna try to take on like preservation and 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 acquiring these things, it's gonna cost money. So I think you can put out a uh, a jar mm-hmm. or somewhere where they can yep. donate money. People will do that. And I guess the second thing is, are you gonna do like a whole YouTube channel where it's just these blasters, just at the convention, like even setting up a camera and just recording people's reactions or feedback or input, um, especially at something like uh, BlasterCon or like later on at End War or anytime you got a bunch of people capturing people's reactions and their thoughts on it, I think would actually make for some great contact and, uh, and very easy and very interesting. Al, on your authority, I will not be ashamed to ask for donations for this project um, because nor- cause I always am otherwise. But um, the content thing is a really great point. I've been thinking also about like, where is the right place to, to archive this information? A-, a YouTube channel is a great idea just for research, but I'm also trying to figure out like, like, like you were saying, the wiki, right, is like a good place to like really document this information. So you're right, though. Yep. I should definitely record video while people are experiencing things, and I will. Thank you. Definitely. Because you can then include that in, if you do make a video about it, you can include, here's the thing at an event, and this is what, you know, because people's reaction to seeing something that's, you know, an integral part of their hobby, they may look at it and go, I've never seen that before. Or it may be someone going, oh, my God, I saw these on Nerf Haven 10 years ago, and it's what got me into the hobby. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want on yeah. video. You want, you know, the why this is important. What kind of a cultural impact does this have? And that's where you'd be able to capture that. Yeah, and yeah if you had a wiki that then had the link to the video, you know, you swings and rounds about and you can build off of it all. Right. No, I, I, think, I think it's cool. Um, yeah, I like the idea of a, a, a Nerf hobby history petting zoo. Well, well, Captain, if, whenever you're ready to give up ire or tear, just just hit me up. Let me know. Well, I will eventually uh, die. <laughs> <laughs> when that happens, I mean, we we are we're more or less the same age, so I don't know if I. <laughs> But maybe I'll be passing the music. You're gonna need to put together a legacy stronger than whatever legacy I put together, so you can lay claim. (laughs) Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm I'm over my time, but I appreciate y'all entertaining uh, this thought, and um, I'll I'll see y'all at Mayhem. See you at Mayhem. Looking forward to it. I love that awesome man. I love Boomstick's comment of Katie going up to players going, that belongs in a museum! Museum. <laughs> Somebody actually running some ancient blaster. So on that note, then, we what we uh, we have supreme authority here, so we've now granted KT authority to seize your blaster at Maryland Mayhem. If you are in violation in terms of the actual, like, uh, antiquiness of your blaster, so be warned, you can bring it, 
But if you lose it, you lost it because you were dumb enough to run it. So, uh, yes. At the very you. least, you, he can, he can uh, compel you to do an interview about it for posterity. Fine, we'll do it this way. Just give him the blaster, and you know what? You do not have to make a, uh, a financial donation to his cause because you've already given up the blaster. See, it's a win-win. Just, just give him the blaster. It saves you money in the long run. Makes the you whole discussion a little less awkward. <laughs> Where are we time with? Oh, we got gobs of time. Gobs of time. <laughs> Tons. <laughs> you know, I could probably bag up the parts and start the painting on this thing. I'm dubious of these motors, but that's okay. <laughs> I, uh, there it is. All right, Kai, then. How about we do some... Uh, what was, so you were at Mayhem last year. What was I your was. Uh, what were the famous high, uh, famous favorite uh, highlights from the event last year? Last year was the pirate theme, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was Scooby Doo then pirates, and now we have cowboys. Ah, uh, oh boy. Sorry, the problem I run into is I went to a wedding the week immediate. Like I went back to work for three days and then went for a wedding, and it, it all blurs together. Uh, I. You'll have to bear with me. My memory is horrible. It was a very fun game. I did like some of the... Um, it's trying to piece out what is the Scooby-Doo game, what is the pirate game, what is a one-night mission I did there. Uh, I definitely liked the build-your-own-flag. That was very fun. I think there was oh, hula hooping at one point, which was fun. There were binnings. Oh, that might have been Scooby-Doo. I think the hula hooping was Scooby-Doo. Okay. I think yeah. so, yes. There was, there was assembling a map. There was def defending a location. The one night mission was probably the one on Thursday night where it was the local HVZ that ran anyways before Maryland Mayhem started. Yeah, I did one of the Monday nights as well one, one year I was out there. Uh, I do remember from some of the pictures, there was one mission where we wound up on that big field that kind of dips down. And there was... Yeah. there's. There's a point where you see a shark come into frame and yep. someone puts their hand on my backpack and pulls me back as the shark lands right where I was standing. I don't really remember I, that point, but I, I do remember being told back up and not hearing it at all. <laughs> and that's why we have teammates that know what they're doing. That is, in <laughs> fact, why we have teammates. Yes, by blahage. I believe that's what eventually got Sergeant Deplorable was a blahage. The blahage was a fun point. It was. Yeah. We I got do a like... glorious last stand. I liked that. Oh, that was they. That was where the weird shark, uh, plastic barrel thing was, wasn't it? Which had nothing yeah, to do with the game week. <laughs> the game whatsoever. And we're like, aha! Surely this will come up. And now I'm sad that we won't get to see it. And that it had nothing to do with it. But we died around it anyway. <laughs> Uh, I did have some fun zombieing because uh, there was a point. I, I guess one of the zombies that led the horde that crushed uh, the ox at our final stand was like, I need people who can run and yell. And somebody volunteered me. So I wound up at like the front of the zombie horde coordinating charges, which was a lot of fun. But I, I missed 11th hour the next day because I paid for it. <laughs> yeah. That I believe, because I remember from last year on the Friday where I was trying to get Captain Xavier to uh, to play in the actual tournament, and he kept on saying, he "Goes nope, I'm not going to run, man." He says tomorrow's going to hurt. I'm like, it's not going to be that. Bad. Like, really, are you complaining? It's like three minutes. And then by four o'clock that afternoon, I looked at him and said, "You sob, you weren't kidding. Why am I doing this?" I oh ow, and which followed the uh, I told you, I told you. I came here to hunt zombies. I'm not wearing myself out <laughs> in a tournament. I'm definitely not going to win. <laughs> so quietly and secretly, I may also be supporting the, uh, oh, no, we're out. Damn. But then also, oh. we also have an extra player. So, uh, no, 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 it's okay. I'll, 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 I'll ride the bench. Cap, Cap's got to work remotely. So I'll, I'll just sit here and hold his laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta hold his phone up to get a good signal. There you <laughs> go. 
team effort. Team effort. I do plan to. Uh, but time out. <laughs> gonna coach from the sideline and uh, heckle. There you go. <laughs> team Mega XL is just the team that helps helps Captain Xavier go to work remotely. You got people bent yeah. over being the table and the chair and. <laughs> Just in the middle of a round, I just take my laptop out behind a barricade. <laughs> oh, we're so doing that. All right, that's going to happen. We're doing that. that yes, we're going to do that. Just behind the it. last piece of cover. Like, what's going on? Where's their last do guy? That. I don't know. He's, I don't know where he is. <laughs> It'll be a standing desk. Because basically, you get me and Nate standing like this. We can easily hold Matt right between us like that. And you put his <laughs> laptop like on his belly. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Don't, someone Perfect. tell Matt. <laughs> Anthony will be your antenna. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. What do we got going on? With chat? Looking for assistance. Good stuff. Boomstick. Boomstick was there for our last stand. It was. Uh, it was a good stand. It was a good stand. Managed to find the worst possible ground on the whole campus to try to defend. Which was the point. Was that... <laughs> oh, it was the corridor. Sorry. Again, I'm getting yeah. different. For some reason, I was thinking of the GCC final stand where we found the nice marshy puddle to stand in. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why were... Last stand in a pond. It was damp. Nobody likes that. Oh. It, it was, was cold. Good event. It was a good event. Um, I got resurrected right. at one point, if I recall. You became the French and then unbecame the French, if I remember yeah, exactly how weird. that game went. It was <laughs> well, they they had a, a Simon Says thing, and they the Simon one of the Simon Says's got interrupted by a zombie charge, and so they had said Simon Says, but then didn't say it again when they when the charge was over, and they finally got the, around to saying their command, and so. I didn't think they'd said Simon Says, so I didn't do the thing, and so I got turned into a zombie, and enough other people complained that they decided to turn them back. And I'm like, I was perfectly happy. I was perfectly happy to be a Zed, but okay, if I'm alive, I'm alive. (laughs) We have a caller. A caller? What? What a novel concept. People want to call and talk to us. Who, Who are you? What do you want? Yeah, I want to talk to all three of y'all. What do you want? Who are you? No, no, I'm just. <laughs> I, I want everything. I want your, I want your wallets. Watch, watch dots, some blasters. No, I'm just I got like bucks. Um, I don't I'm just really. In my oh god. That's better than what I got told earlier today. Earlier I today, everything. I got told somebody wanted my left kidney. So. <laughs> <laughs> I have well, my. Let's reasons. keep it much more simpler. <laughs> All right, who is All right, this? Let's let's make it two plus two equal four. Uh, this is there Kyle. Um, I'm from uh, Northern Virginia. Um, Kyle, what's you know, what's shaking, man? Thanks well. for calling back um, again, brother. Hey, definitely. You know, I, I'm really looking forward to Maryland Mayhem and uh, being a, a vendor this year. The first time ever being a, a vendor. Um, I got the latest layout for uh, all the. What's that? What are you selling? Uh, I'm selling uh, Saber products, so the internals for Siegel and Harrier, um, and I'm also selling uh, Apex Primes uh, as well. I um, might uh, throw out some stickers and some merch and stuff like that. I'd have to take um, a look basically, at the uh, U.S. Uh, brand representative and, uh, for uh, Saber. Neat. Very cool, buddy. I got. I got them. So. Since, uh, and a pair of eagles. I could use some parts. Oh yeah. Well, I I um this year I I'm keeping a low stock because um I had to make the initial investment um and I didn't get any scope of how how much uh people really wanted so uh taking on low risk at the moment. But yeah, I'll be uh I'll be selling what I can. Cool. Cool. Um. But uh, this is going out to uh, to Kai, um, and I, I was gonna gonna ask him uh, ask ask them um, how did you join the uh, the N17? Um, because Ooh. I know uh, Spectre doesn't 
take, uh, well, anybody just to join willy nilly. I know this from personal experience. So I first met Team N7 back in 2019 when it was just uh, Angel, Joker, and Spectre. I knew them through various online spaces, uh, played lots of video games with them, hung out with them a lot, uh, did some tabletop shenanigans with them. Um, when I first met them at Maryland Mayhem, 20, was 2021 the first one or 2022 the first one? 2022 20. was the first one. Yeah. Uh, at the first UMBC Invitational, I met them, uh, ran with them in the auxiliaries column, and afterwards, uh, they patched me in. So, which I got to, because as Kyle, as you said, so, that's not something Spectre does lightly. Uh, and if I hadn't lost all my fluids through sweating, I would have cried. It's very interesting feeling your body try to cry when there's no moisture there for it to cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, fluids don't just come from the air, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll start from there. I've tried but, bribing yeah. him with a left um, kidney. It's not working. Apparently, he wants more. Oh, well, like, we got to have surgery, and that requires too much skill, and all we have enough skill for is pulling a dang trigger. Look, <laughs> Al wants the left kidney. Boomstick apparently wants the right. I'm going to run out of kidneys at some point, and it's a really <laughs> messy process to restock. <laughs> well, I was only born with one, so if you take my one, then uh, that's, that's a no-go. All right, fine. We'll leave one? you out of this. Did you get an extra big one? <laughs> fine. Fine. <laughs> Go with that. There's plenty but, of uh, Also, I wanted to ask... Uh, average human is worth about 88 grand. Also, uh, in the open market. Oh, go ahead. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was, uh, I was also going to ask... Uh, ask uh, Al and um, uh, Kevin Xavier as to how you guys um, uh, started to become uh, vendors or, uh, you know, how's uh, getting in the business of actually selling product. I'm not a vendor. No, no he, he is. Well, I, okay. I, I've been telling Maybe him for years mere, to sell oh, stuff. I, no, that's all right, Kurt. It's, it's, it's cool, brother. Well, he um, might have some potential. He does, and I've been harassing him about that. He's only recently discovered merch, so one of these days he will cave. In the meantime, uh, we, we'll talk about that later. But um, myself, the way I ended up do, getting into it, it was more of when I first started doing this, it's not because I participated in any events. I just wanted to paint and make stuff, and I went, fell down the rabbit hole of how people like mod and paint stuff, and I thought, this is cool. So then, of course, um, God knows how many hours of YouTube and experimenting and trying and trial and error until I finally figured it out and liked the ones I had. And it just kept on lining up in my basement where I had about 10 or 12 of them lined up down here. And my wife comes down and says, what are we doing with these? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to use them or something? No, I just like making them. So we're going to have a house full of oh, them. Yeah. How's this going to work? So then realizing that there was some logic to that. And it's not, I get... I've also realized that I can remake anything that I've sold. So I didn't get too attached to like the original builds. It's kind of like no big deal. I'll just make another one if I, if I want to. And I figured I'll throw my hat in the ring, start an Etsy store. And I remember when that first sale happened, my mouth hit the floor. I'm like, oh my God, people actually gave me money for this. All right, maybe this can go somewhere. And so it just kind of snowballs from there. Hmm. And I've yeah, done yeah. So it's, it, commissions. It, I, when I had more time, I used to do commissions. I just don't have time to do them anymore. I have um, Foam Blast carried patches for me, but when Foam Blast shut down, that was the end of the patches. Out of Darts made shirts, but uh, apparently he decided not to get it anymore. you're living and breathing, though. You have time. Ah. What? Ooh. If living and breathing means having time, I think I'm doing something wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all are conscious enough to make make a living decision. So, hey, that's at least having time. And when you say you don't have time, then that means uh, you did. There's time and there's time. <laughs> yeah. There is. Well, here's a better question. How old are you, brother? Uh, I'm 30. All right. 
when I was about 30, same thing. Um, I've, I've, I am reluctantly accepting this and still trying to fight it. As you get older, time becomes a premium just because you realize how many damn things you get involved in. Never mind the fact that as much as you try to stay on top of things, you're just not as fast as you were younger. So it's like, son of a bitch. Now I sound like those grumpy old people that say, oh, I don't have time for nothing. It's like, I try not to be that, but it does happen. So be warned and stay on top of it. As you get older, suddenly you run out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, definitely. When I was uh, from years ago, as uh, I invet- uh, invested too much into too many hobbies. And then I was like, well, I, I got to have just a couple like maybe one in the summertime and then one in the winter time. So that way I'm always continuously doing something. Exactly. Cool, dude. Well, is there anything else you want to promote about? Uh, uh, well, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if you're Maryland Mayhem, be sure to uh, be sure to hit him up, see what he's got for sale. Definitely check it out. Uh, Sabre makes some great products, especially if you want to trick your stuff out, man. You're going to want to check that out. Um, is there anything else you want to let people know? Um, nothing else. Uh, well, well. I'll, I will be competing uh, this year also in comp uh, for yeah. the Rascals uh, and be there for the whole entire weekend. Um, be uh, promoting uh, Saber since uh, Conrad can't fly out all the way to location since uh, round trip tickets are like anywhere from 14 to 1600 US dollars. Uh, so, and he's got a busy schedule. So he's like, hey, why not have me represent? Uh, I'm good friends with him uh, in the meantime. So uh, I, invented, I invested in some inventory and uh, go from there. He sent it all to me and uh, I'll promote the product. Awesome. Dude. I'm willing to uh, invest in. Yeah, I'm willing to uh, try to make enough sales to uh, go to Operation Rising Phoenix this year in Malaysia. Hopefully, uh, to meet uh, Bradley Phillips again and get in uh, in on uh, Sabre's uh, next event for this year. Cool. Very cool, dude. Well, we look forward to seeing you at Maryland Mayhem. Thanks for calling in, man. Uh, definitely. And thank you guys for uh, having me on as well, too. Not a problem, dude. Bye. I do not have any saber things, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. This should be cool, man. Yeah. I have any springers. Yeah, I've I was never big into springers, and now I have most of them. Uh, they just keep showing up. Um, but I like at this point, I like to have you know one that's relatively stock, and then one that's just totally tricked out. So I'll trick out one of my harriers and one of my. Uh, Swifts and one of my uh, uh, seagulls, and then keep the other one less tricked out. There you go. Variety, variety is the spice of life. All right, I I, I have a question. Back to the magazines yeah. I was decorating. Is is this too much? But I don't know if I want to put them on because now, although I guess I can peel them off after. Yeah. Oh no, that's cool. Well, uh, no. Put those on the ones that you actually use as a, a, a tour of duty sticker. How do you have oh. Maryland Mayhem stickers already? <laughs> These are actually from last year, actually. I got one. Uh, I think it was, yeah, okay. it was Jesse. He, he made gotcha. up a bunch of them, and I was going to hand them out. Then I, then I misplaced them, and now I got them back again. There I you found go. them, so it's like, all right, what am I going to stick them to? Do I stick it to this? Yeah, maybe I should. Stick it to people that aren't looking. Ooh, I like that <laughs> idea. Or that. Sort of then now you become a zombie, put it on every human you tag. <laughs> Although, see, I've already finished them all and did both sides, and now I wish I should have done it like this. So no, not on one side. Not on yeah. one side. Yeah, now that's the right way to do it. There yeah. you go. So you, you know what that means? Now i got to buy more magazines, damn it. <laughs> You know, there's a website you can go to to get more stickers if you need them, though. You, uh, tell me, what is this place? I forget. Something about a donkey. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I definitely think now my plan is if I ever have my own logo to just print out a bunch of stickers and just see how many people I can stick them on covertly before somebody catches on to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Do it. Do Come up with your own logo. Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to... Uh, I need patches. The only... The foam blast ones were much bigger than I was expecting. They're like four inch, three inch, three or four inch patches instead of a typical two inch patch. Um, and I think I only have two of them. Yeah, you need more. I finally got my new ones in. So that was my original one. Notice that the yellow was a little off, which I wasn't happy with, well, but it's like, whatever. So then the uh, I've... picker did not hydrate well. No, <laughs> Clearly, it's kind of orange. It needs more fluids. It drank too much yeah. yesterday. But then I kept on putting it off, putting it off, much like you with uh, with uh, stickers. It's like, all right, eventually I will do this. And then I finally caved. And oh, now we're corrected. That's that's the right yellow. That is the right yellow. Yeah. And... Uh, Al told me about the studio.com. I was looking at their options. Um, and I probably will get them from there eventually. Uh, I do have, like, um, it's either spring teas or tea spring, or I think I've got both of them have auxiliary merch. I don't know that they have, I think they might have X-Shot or X-Strike merch as well. I should double check. I haven't checked them in years. Every once in a while, I get an email going, you've made a sale. I'm like, neat. <laughs> How do I redeem hey. that? <laughs> Probably right. have, like, Five dollars in residuals sitting in an account somewhere on a website. I don't remember the password. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Life-changing amounts of money. Uh, Every once in a while, one I... of my goals for this year, though, is to to improve my merch, Ooh. improve my brand. That's what I'm going to do instead of traveling. Is get some administrative stuff taken care of. Get the local competitive scene going. All right, Kai, why do, you, there, why do you not have a logo? And if you did want a logo, um, what were you thinking you'd enjoy? Um, if only someone in the chat who likes messing around with logos possibly overhears what you're talking about. Not that I'm pointing fingers at certain people, as he's probably rolling his eyes right now going, thanks, Al. <laughs> so I don't have my... so. I technically have my own logo somewhere because I studied uh, graphic design and industrial design for a little bit in college. Uh, oh, so I have a go. Hedgehog Designs logo somewhere. Uh, my only current logo is I have the Team N7 thing, uh, but I have a drawing somewhere of like a little Grim Reaper holding a cat with darts around him. That is... I, I like that. Yeah, I've been I debating. want that patch. Make that happen. <laughs> Neil, if yeah. you're bored, make that, man. See, compare. <laughs> uh, Boomsticks will be infinitely better than mine. Boomstick has a wonderful <laughs> style. It's super adorable. It's great for the hobby. <laughs> Love it so much. <laughs> That'd yeah. be very cool. Uh, yeah, can I you do that? Remember... And... Go ahead. What? No, go ahead, Cap. No, no, no. no. I'm thinking tangents. Carry on. Changes are good. They're fun. Yeah. <laughs> you still waiting on me? Uh, yes. My extra logo was someone else's idea. I don't remember who. Um, because I had just been using, because way back in the day, the Zombie Strike Blasters came with a stencil of the Zombie Strike logo. And so I was just putting that on stuff. I think Fire might still have an old Zombie Strike logo on her. Um, and then somebody recommended that I should replace the Z with an X, and so I did, and that's where the X Strike logo came from, the shirt one. But this isn't even my personal device. I I have a patch here with my personal device somewhere. It's probably in a bin. <laughs> so that's we, my old personal device. I don't know. If... Oh, how cool is that, man? Yeah, it's three crossed bones in a vaguely the shape of a fleur-de-lis because my character was a French pirate. Yeah, that checks out. Dude, we, we need to make it... So, that gives... I have wanted to, and I've talked to a couple of blacksmiths, and I keep forgetting to do it, but I will get that actually made in a metal shield. I don't know if it'll be yellow or not, but an actual, like, metal version of that. And um, I think you should get one made the same... If, we, if I find a good metal guy... Do you want a shield like that thing? 
I have a shield with my logo on it. I used to fight with it. <laughs> you need a new one? <laughs> Before I got into Nerf, I did Medieval Recreation. I have two shields with my logos on it. One of them is beat to heck. So you so, do yeah. need a new one. I have the first boomstick mods patch ever made. Where? Look for it. In the meantime, who's calling? Who is it? Who do we got? Come on, I'm going to see if I can find the boomstick mods patch. Hello? The 3D Hello, printed one, Cap. 3D oh. printed. Painted to, it was painted and given to you at Penn State in 2019. That sounds like something that would have happened. What does it look like? Who's the caller? Somebody say? talk to the caller while I look for patches. We're Hello, trying to. Caller. Who is this? <laughs> Hello? 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 Hello, it's you? Noah from MBH Blasters. I heard I was... I've been talking with Captain. I'm the guy with the monorails. I heard I was mentioned in this stream. You have been yeah. mentioned. Noah, what's happening, man? How are you? Do you want to know what he talked about? Not much. <laughs> yeah, I was like one of the guys in our Discord. All right. Quietly then, while he's not... One of the guys in our Discord man. was like, hey... He, he was saying all kinds of things about you, but we can't verify what it is, but he might come back and hear what's going on. <laughs> They're here. Yeah, it's all good. You have some monorails. Ooh, my, yeah, my customer is going to be super happy about those. So, so we will uh, hopefully make the trade if we can arrange the arms deal for Maryland Mayhem. That will be very convenient. And we don't have to ship them. Yeah, I hope to make it there next year. Hopefully next year I can make it there. So okay, I might. I'm hoping I'm following along correctly. How is the nerf scene up in Canada? Um. Well, as of right now, I am in the midst of starting a nerf hobby shop here in Canada. Um, I'm the Canadian dealer for Phantom Tech Toys, and just trying to get stuff here. It's hit and miss. No, where are you located? Um, in Ontario, Walkerton, Ontario. I'm like two hours north of Toronto. Two hours north. So what? Are you just south of Perry Sound, brother? Where are you, man? I was born in Mississauga, man. I used to go to Kilbert all the time. Um, I, I can't tell you how many Molson Park shows I did. Yeah, in no. <laughs> I'm the, I know. Either way, I'm more like uh, I'm half an hour from like Lake Huron. Okay. I more like you. northwest, I guess, of Toronto. All right. So then, do you ever make it down to like? Yeah, the, it's pretty uh, good. I go to. No, go ahead. To the Tang events. Yes. Yeah, I play in the uh, when I can. Yeah. And you want to tell everybody what Tang is? Yeah, I sponsor the the Toronto area Nerf group. Nice. We uh, I sponsor the the hell before halloween event that they run the old school nic war where it's all homemade and stuff Ooh, that cool. sounds cool yeah 300 it fps is. like it's a it's a fun time it's also it's also on a private field so it's outdoor it is uh and if you're going to participate i don't know if they'll change the rules this year you got to be dressed up in a horror costume otherwise you can't play <laughs> That no, they they awesome. let people do because, but you get you get bonus points though if you show up like that, and they give a uh, they added awards last year for it, and yeah, it was a good time. No, 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 not for air. Um, you gotta come dressed up, all right? There's no there's no mercy. You gotta dress up, man. That what he's talking about allegedly <laughs> allegedly this happened. You gotta come dressed, man. Come on, it's Halloween. What are you dead inside? Dress up. Come on, people. Yeah. yeah. Halloween, you're not dressed up. <laughs> uh, I know. Although, I'm not much of a Halloween person, so I guess that's where it comes out. Uh, fair enough. So then, Nora, you, in the last couple of years, and tell me if I'm wrong, it seems that it is finally... So in Canada, in Ontario, everyone, same like everywhere else, has owned a ton of foam-flinging weapons and blasters and stuff like that. And it's the same idea. It's like, what do you mean it's actually organized? Have you found then in the last year or two where it's like finally gaining traction where people are actually organizing and showing up? 
Yeah, like the, I mean, the Toronto Nerf Group seems to regularly have people. It's hard for me to make the drive. Um, with I have 11 month old, so we don't get down there very often. Yeah. But uh, it down in like city centers and stuff. Yeah, it's definitely like people are actually messaging me on my business account, being like, "Hey, is this like a real thing? Like, are these events happening?" And I was like, "Yeah, it's a real thing. Like, come and join them. Like, I might not be there, but get on it. Like, get there, play." You know, I have a collection of like 700 Nerf blasters, so it's it's getting a little. It's fun. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> as 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 Captain Sayers says, seven hundred. He just has that <laughs> over by uh, sitting behind his house. Never mind everything else. <laughs> yeah, just just in the corner, right? Like. <laughs> I've got about that many in the first storage unit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I saw that short. I was like, what? <laughs> We don't we don't have the uh, we don't have the ability to get stuff. For, we don't like the the population of Canada is less than the population of the state of California. So come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, never mind. Also, the price of blasters. So I have <clears throat> they're going to be in Maryland Mayhem. But two of my oldest friends, um, I've known them both. Well, one is technically like my third or fourth cousin. But we uh, one I've known since uh, we were fifteen. The other one since even younger than that. And they're actually finally in the scene. And about a month ago, I went up, and uh, it's just because just I had to give them something a little better than what they had. So I gave them a bunch of Dart Zone blasters. And when I thought about how much they would have paid for it and what yeah. I paid for it, they're like, "Do I owe you money? No, just just buy me a beer at some point later. We're, we're good." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Well, Al, if you're ever in Canada, let me know. We'll get meet up and. It'd be cool to. I know you're from Mississauga, so you probably still come up here. Absolutely, I do because I got my folks down there and I go to visit. So actually, I was in Canada last weekend, but it was quite literally. We got in Saturday evening at my folks' house, had a bunch of people come over. Um, yeah. Sunday morning, had my brother and my two nephews come over, and then we left by about one thirty or two because the original. Yeah. Well, the main goal was we went to Buffalo for the <laughs> eclipse. So, I other people like plan to go to oh, Niagara yeah. Falls and everything else and we just my father-in-law god love him because they did yeah. tennessee uh they did the tennessee one sweetwater and they had gotten a hotel in nashville and drove to sweetwater right, yeah. which is only like 15 20 minutes problem is when the eclipse ended it yeah, took them almost no like deal. four hours to get back to their hotel room so this time there was like no 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 <laughs> hotel room path of totality right yeah. in the parking lot chairs camera and my bed is right yeah. over there. The toilet's right over there. And Way it's go. amazing. <laughs> not fantastic. But yeah, I will let you know next time I'm up, man. Yeah, that's, I got time. that's wild. I mean, I mean, it, we got like uh, October 20th. You maybe come up for the, the Halloween event. I think you that seems to be right up your alley. I was going to last year, but then I somehow ended up on the West Coast at somebody's house in a, in, in a bunkhouse. Could have been anywhere. <laughs> yeah, awesome. right. No, Could have been anywhere. I tell you. <laughs> I remember. Everyone's got a bunch right. right? I mean, that's right. <laughs> very, nat yeah, right? very natural, very normal thing to have. Uh, Where did yes. I get all these patches? Yeah, for sure. Wow. <laughs> all right, Noah. Thanks for calling, brother. We'll talk to you soon, man. Because you, 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 you can bet, see guys. the patch Thanks. wall behind me, right? This this absurdity. Here's all the patches that aren't on the patch wall. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I have two different SNSC patches. I got two different Thunderdome patches. Dude. Nice. I, I, found, I found, surely, surely this is the boomstick patch they're talking about right <laughs> right so it's a blue right. and yellow boomstick mods exploding bomb <gasps> i found it against there you all go. odds i found it <laughs> nicely done it was in one of the piles of un it's going on the wall right here next to the women of nerf beautiful hooray we got to make you a bigger patch wall it seems 
I, I I have two more pillars that I could expand it to because I've already gone around to the sides on this one. <laughs> I really um I've seen a couple of things. I really like Spectre's patch vest, where it's just a a long vest that's just nothing but yeah. Velcro material, so you could stick hundreds of patches to it. I also really like uh, Luchathor's idea of having the Japanese style flag mounted to your back that's just all Velcro and covered Ooh. in patches. That is a great like idea. That. that is a great idea. It would be very cumbersome, but I think it would be cool. I'm leaning towards trying to make one of the vests myself because I think he got that custom made from one of the Britner folks. It would, uh, I mean, yeah, it, the hardest part would be finding the material. Um, making a pattern for that would be, I mean, childishly simple. Because it wouldn't almost, need to be lined. It wouldn't need to have buttons. I mean, you you could, I would probably trim it with bias tape just to make it look a little bit nicer. You know, orange bias tape. There you go. Maybe some, uh, oh, what's the word? It's not ribbing. Boning? I don't know. Uh, yes cording cording on the on the seams um uh, yes just to make it a little bit fancier um before i got into nerf and before i got into medieval, medieval recreation i was a rather accomplished tailor the more you know <laughs> the, the stuff you don't know about me could fill books oh i'm sure <laughs> I, the older I get and the more I talk to people, the more I feel like that's just true of anybody once they hit, like, 35. Because, yeah. like, several of my coworkers have worked construction, sales, retail. They've gone into one hobby, out of another. And it's, I think it just gets more interesting when you get to people that are in niche hobbies like Nerf. I uh, used to do competitive ballroom dance. There's one for you. I did know that one. Ah, there you go. I'm also still a card-carrying member of the Swing Devils. I did not know that one. I did know the Electro Swing bit because the only reason I know about Electro Swing is because there was a pair of Stellar song that got put on an Ox playlist at one point. <laughs> <laughs> There's oh there was there was one it was such a good song but it is unfortunately unacceptably racist. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, and it's it's weird because the original audio is from like the twenties, and the original singer was Louis Armstrong's wife. Of all the people to do a song that is uncomfortably racist, you wouldn't expect <laughs> it to be. Uh, I can't remember her name now. But yeah, Louis Armstrong's wife. But it's such a good song. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, <laughs> why? I don't want to like this. Don't want to. I'm not allowed to. I shouldn't. Don't want to rewrite this, please. <laughs> make make it somehow work. <laughs> Need a. Yeah. 2024 well, remix of Electro Swing you, Song. You'd need to be able to talk to her, and she is unfortunately about a century dead. Mm -hmm. um, and like, mm. this is satire, right? You're not making fun of these people. You're making fun of people who make fun of these people. Yes, no. I I can't, you know, put those words into her mouth a century later. That's not how history works. Mm, just time to learn necromancy. Writing. There you go. <laughs> just time to learn necromancy. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Is there an interview somewhere I can find? But... Oh, yeah, YouTube. It'll be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. The original <laughs> song is on YouTube because she did the original song and it's it's a 1920s song or around 1920. So it's slow. And then the Pelov Stellar remix is much, much faster and much, much upbeat and is a fabulous song to dance to until you actually listen to the lyrics and go, I I don't feel okay about this. <laughs> I need a shower. I feel dirty. That's right. <laughs> well, it's like the um not not as bad as that one, but uh the Christmas one, uh Baby It's Cold Outside. It's like, man, I love this song, but now that you paint it like that, it's like uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it, 
Damn, and that's, that's, yeah. the, that's kind of the similar problem because I've seen the historical, you know, where they look at the history of it and where those phrases mean. And when that song was written, those all meant very, very different things. And it was actually intended to be an empowering song written by a husband and a wife making fun of the society where women aren't allowed to like sex. Yep. But those words don't mean that anymore. Yep. In today's no. world, that is absolutely a date rape song and it's just creepy as, as all get out. And that's the which, unfortunate truth of things. <laughs> like, which is a problem. Yeah. As things <laughs> so change. Like, you're, you listen to it now and you're like, I, this, this makes me uncomfortable. But knowing the history, you're like, <laughs> she wants an excuse to not have to go home. <laughs> and he's trying to give her one. I ah. see. Clever. Um, like, Clever girl. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, 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 I'm not a floozy. There was a storm and I couldn't go home. <laughs> Oh, society is stupid. <laughs> yes, yes. How did we get on a, this topic? I don't know. That was a glorious tangent. We're running out of time, but let, let's go. Let's quick back. So then, uh, Kai, what? So what Marilyn May here, right? To? Yeah, that, but basically, <laughs> we'll round it out. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, not this week. Well, obviously, in less than two weeks. I am most looking forward to getting to run as a team, uh, because like we've we've obviously gone as a team to Maryland Mayhem, but we've always ran underneath the auxiliary, uh, usually split into pairs in different groups, or not different groups, but in different squads. So the fact that we're actually going to be working together as a unit is something I'm really looking forward to. Oh, that is different. So are you running a Wild West theme, or are you guys, what, what, what are you guys doing for loadouts? Uh, as far as I'm aware, we're sticking with our same old, same old. Uh, the N7's playing, the rest of the team N7 playing in the UK, their rules on color are a lot looser. So they only have a couple of blasters, really, that are HVZ safe. So it's sort of a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it on their end. Uh, for me, most Hammer Prime blasters are really uncomfortable for me. So I'm, I'm bringing my pew pew and socks, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah. Hard to argue with that. Yeah. I think we're all bringing cowboy hats of some variety, and then I have my vest, but I don't think there's anything beyond that. That's okay. That definitely works. That'll be good. No, that's awesome. And then uh, for uh, the uh, 11th hour on Sunday, is there any specific event or anything you're looking forward to about that one or just the whole day in general? I'm just hoping to be able to play the 11th hour this year, because like I said, last year I hit being a zombie way too hard. uh, And the 11th hour, it looked like somebody had stuck a baseball underneath my, uh, my right knee. So I I was down and out for that. The good news is uh, team mega double XL. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, we're going to have a lot of Advil and creams for all kinds of brokenness. So we got you covered. Go ahead. Cap what you got, buddy. Yes. Lots of ibuprofen. (laughs) Um, yep. And salts, pickles, potato chips, Powerade. Yeah, I'm debating if I can sneak my uh, my ice pack through TSA or how they're going to classify that because that's that's the big help for me. But Listen, we'll see. TSA misses 95 percent of illegal stuff. You'll be fine. I slipped. <laughs> I kept Nerf blasters on my carry on. Nobody cares. The Dutch, on the other hand. <laughs> I did that my first uh, Maryland Mayhem when I flew. Is I put like I was like I don't if if I get stranded I need to have at least one blaster with me on the event. And then I got there and they were like, "You brought your blaster through the carry on." It's like, yeah, it's fine. It was just in my hand luggage. That's great, <laughs> no problems. Uh, meanwhile, every member of Team N Seven, because they're all six foot tall Space Marines, can't get through any sort of security check without getting stopped and searched. So. That baffles me whenever my my lipos go through without getting double checked, and you're like, it's a big bag of polymer metals with wires coming out of it. What do you mean you're not going to open it up and look? What else are you letting through? What's on this plane? They've stopped me for my Nintendo Switch in its, like, branded case, but have not stopped me for the same thing. I have one of those out-of-darts lipo bags that just yep. has a chunk of little little boxes with wires sticking out of them. <laughs> you, with a paper clip, you could short those and create something problematic yes, you that I'm not going to say out loud. <laughs> That's why they confiscate all your paper clips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
paper clips aren't allowed. The time has come. Awesome. The time has come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining us for another episode of Get Off My Lawn. Um, love having everybody here as always. Uh, this Wednesday, this Wednesday, next Wednesday. Um, join us for another episode of the Foam Zone with Andrew, aka Guard Sweep. And tomorrow, sure the range. The next episode of oh. the range will be out tomorrow. Stay tuned for that. I've already filmed it. I just need to edit and upload it. Definitely looking forward to that. So again, another episode of the range tomorrow. Um, as always, if you haven't registered yet, go and register. Uh, Profoamalliance.org. Net. Why am I broken today? But anyways, Org. World Foam um, Alliance. Edu. Edu. <laughs> Go register on the website. People are going to kill me after. Make sure to register. The whole purpose of us is trying to connect people. We can't connect you unless we don't. We know where you are. Tell us where you are. We promise we're not going to take kidneys. We already found our kidneys, so we're good. Just uh, sign up for free. We, we don't need any financial information. We've met our quota. <laughs> but uh, make sure to register. Also, be sure to follow us on uh, this YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, hit the like button. Um, any episodes you miss, you, everything is posted after. So go ahead, feel free to look at it again. Uh, feel free to criticize it for us next next week. We will probably listen to you and just say, okay, and then just get, keep get on with our lives. That's right. <laughs> but, <laughs> and again, um, we will have an episode after uh, Maryland Mayhem. We don't know who our guests will be, but it will definitely be a uh, our own personal experience and review of Maryland Mayhem. So we're looking forward to that. Um, it'll be a surprise. Why is it a surprise? Because we don't even know who it is. So surprise, we'll all, we'll all find out at the same time. We didn't know but, our guest was going to be here until about an hour ago. I know, and I'm so glad Kai was available. This is amazing. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have just had to listen to us, and I don't think that would have been nearly as interesting. No, no, probably not. We would have gotten a couple, an hour and, and a half. Would have talked about what hurts. On this blaster, but then I got I got it struck down in five minutes. Gotten too good at that. <laughs> I tell you, Kai, any parting shots, last minute thoughts, where can people find you or just anything in general? Oh, gosh. Thanks for having me. Happy to come back. Uh, you can find me on either Foam House Nerf. I can, you can look at Reaper and Seven on YouTube, though I don't post that much. Uh, and I have another Instagram somewhere, but Foam House Nerf on Instagram is the best place to find me. Neat. Awesome. Thank you so much. Cap, do you have any parting shots or words or things? Boomstick owes me money. <laughs> oh, no one figured out the 80, the 88. No, no one's figured it out. You'll have to show up at the uh, at the event. I'll be hanging out. If you run into me, give it a guess. Why is my number 88? If you get it right, I'll give you a button. Stick. Nice. There it is. All right. On that note, oh, and I'll just give you stickers. Um, <laughs> leave me alone. Here's a sticker. Go away. Um, <laughs> Yeah, the, the folks in the comments, they're not nearly nerdy enough. I think they forget that I work for Dell. Oh, he just dropped this. He just dropped a, a, uh, a hint. Anybody? No? All right. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining us. We'll see you all soon next time. World Foam Alliance, don't forget to register. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn!